What is going on guys, NBA 2K23 here. Now the purpose in this video is just talking about why we need more options, like NBA Live especially, because this game here, what it requires, what it takes, and I'm specifically talking about my player mode or my career, whatever you want to call it, it requires way too much just to enjoy the game. I'm not even talking about winning and losing, I'm talking about just... To get some level of enjoyment, it requires just too much. I mean, it really does. You buy this game, if you buy the base game and you don't spend all your money on it, then you're going to basically have a 60 overall guy who can't really make a lot of baskets. He can't really do a whole lot, so you better be ready to pull your wallet out and put some more money into it. You know, if you get one of those special edition ones that cost you more than that you're gonna have a, lo a little bit of vc you're gonna be able to do stuff with your player of course that requires more money and then later more money more vc and so it requires you have to be ready to invest into just playing this one game alone and for me and i'm actually a, i play games you know what i mean i have this channel but the people that you see that grind in this game to do really well, they are focused. They play this game specifically. They really don't spend a lot of time on other games at all. So you got to be ready to dedicate yourself, your time, wake up in the morning, put in a nine to five, basically. Like put in a shift, if you want to put it like that, into just playing this one game alone. And once, you're, once you do that, you can then start enjoying the game because you've bought yourself some VC, you've grinded some time, and now and you got to keep this going over and over and over and over and over again just to keep up with the other players. And then you have all these different seasons, and you have all these, and you're just constantly putting so much time and money into playing one specific game. And for me, I think it's I think it's unreasonable. For me, it's too much for a game you are not able to leave the arena until the following quest to complete okay so i you know it, it's too much for one video game it's just way too much but i think this game is built for people who have that professional mentality like i'm a professional nba 2k player and i'm all in on this game that is what it requires to p do well playing this game and in my opinion that is too much for a video game. That's asking too much. It is. It's just way too much. And players that play this game, I think that this particular mode, I think they're putting too much into it. The only thing you're really accomplishing, really, is you're making NBA 2K rich. And there's nothing wrong with that. I like them. I like for companies to be rich. You know, they're getting their money. They have a lot of people to play, to pay. But for a single player, if I was really good at this and my player was really good, I would have to really put in a lot of shifts. And NBA Live was more reasonable to me. It wasn't dirt easy, but it was like, I could, as a casual player, I could turn it on, spend a little bit of time on it, start enjoying the game within a short... And I'm not talking about being great at the game. I'm just talking about enjoyability. I cannot enjoy this game until my player gets a lot of attributes, until you put a lot of money in, until you put a lot of VC in, a lot of time in. And in my opinion, that's asking too much for a, any video game. And out of all the games I've seen, this is this might be the absolute worst as far as just being dead like just being dead serious on playing a game. And for me, and I'm not saying the game is bad. The game is certainly good for for players that are ready to really, really, really invest, get a good night's rest, wake up, put this game on, and be ready to go, work hard. But it's just one game. Does it really make sense for one game to require that much out of you just to get to the point where you're able to enjoy the game at least a little bit? Because, like I said, you buy the base game, $60, $70, and you play this mode here, you're, you're not going to do anything with that 60 overall. Like, let's just be real. You, you better be ready to put a lot of hard working hours into this game or a lot of m extra money into your VC. Then you can play this mode and do something. Without that, you ain't going to have fun. The game is going to absolutely be horrible. Your player is not going to make 
baskets. He's not going to be able to move very well. He's going to be too slow. And, of course, 2K designed the game like that on purpose so that they can make money because they know you guys are going to pull your wallet out every time you struggle. You're going to buy this, buy that, buy VC, buy this. Then you got more VC to, to, to buy clothes for your character. You're buying, you're spending hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on just playing this one game alone. And it is just so ridiculous. I, it's, I'm not saying that the game is not a bad game, but doing all that for one game is just so ridiculous, in my opinion. And this is coming from somebody that, that plays games, but I play a variety of games. But this game here, you can't afford to put time into playing other games. You better be ready to wake up every morning and put this game in and play this game. Yes, there's people that have NBA 2K channels and they do well, they play the game. You might say, well, there's other people that have a good time playing it. Yes, that's my point. They play this game and mainly this game only and they buy a lot of VC and they spend hours and hours and hours and hours playing this game. That's what it took for them to get to where they're at. And that is basically my point and I think that's just way too much. That's asking way too much for one video game.